our spot has been a serious threat to corn yields across the Midwest. With its unpredictable spread and rapid growth, preparation will be key for 2025. Hi, I'm Nick Hedden, Pioneer Field Agronomist in West Central Indiana. I want to give you a few tips on how to be prepared for tar spot for the 2025 growing season. So in my initial scouting visits for tar spot, I'm going to try to target corn that's about V10 or V11. So corn that's about chest high on me, and I'm going to be walking through looking in the lower canopy. So around leaves that are touching my shin or about my knee is where I typically find my first lesions. You won't see those shotgun blast looking leaves initially unless you've got a severe infection. Typically you'll see the one or two lesions on those lower leaves and then as that disease spreads you'll see that shotgun blast look. And whenever you see leaves that get to that shotgun blast look, that's when those spores are really ramping up, throwing all over the field, infecting top to bottom. But initially we're looking low. A few more ways that you can be prepared are utilizing some tools from Corteva. One is the Corteva disease tracking map. So this will be a weekly map that Corteva sends out that will show hot spots across the U.S. for tar spot, gray leaf, northern corn leaf blight, and southern rust. And another tool that we'll send out is a Pioneer tar spot tracking map. So this will be indiv individualized for each state. Whenever we get those initial observations in, we will highlight the county that those observations came out of so you know about tar spot on a more local level. Please reach out to your Pioneer sales rep for more information. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.